Have you ever pondered the enigma of Flight MH370, the passenger jet that vanished without a trace? This Boeing 777, operated by Malaysia Airlines, embarked on what seemed like a routine journey from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on March 8, 2014. Yet in the early morning hours, MH370 and all 239 souls on board slipped off the radar and into the annals of aviation mysteries. Imagine the scene, Flight MH370, cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet, midway between Malaysia and Vietnam. The clock strikes 1.21 a.m. and then, suddenly, the aircraft's transponder ceases to transmit. The blip representing MH370 on air traffic control screens fades into oblivion. The plane is, in essence, invisible, untraceable. In the wake of its disappearance, a colossal international effort was mobilized to locate the missing aircraft. 43 ships and 58 aircraft from 14 countries scoured the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean, an area spanning over 3 million square kilometers. Despite the vast resources deployed and the tireless efforts of search teams, the initial phase of the search yielded no sign of the missing plane. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months. The world held its breath, waiting for news, for anything that could offer a clue to the whereabouts of MH370. Yet, the ocean remained silent, its depths keeping the secrets of the vanished jet. Behind the scenes, experts analyzed the scant data available, piecing together a ghostly route that suggested the plane had made a sharp westward turn, flown back across the Malay Peninsula, and then headed south over the Indian Ocean. But without physical evidence, this remained just a theory, an educated guess in a sea of unknowns. Over a year later, the first tangible evidence would finally emerge, thousands of kilometers away on a remote beach. But that's a story for our next scene. For now, we leave you with the haunting echo of MH370's last recorded words. Good night, Malaysian 370. On July 29, 2015, the silence was broken. In the midst of the vast Indian Ocean, a piece of the puzzle was found, washed ashore on the French island of Réunion. This was no ordinary piece of debris, this was the right-wing flaperon of the missing MH370. The discovery, unexpected and chilling, ignited a spark of hope in the hearts of many. Could this be the key to solving the mystery of the vanished flight? It wasn't just the location of the find that was significant, over 2,300 miles from the search area designated by Australian authorities, but also what the flaperon represented. It was a silent testament to the fate of the aircraft, its passengers and crew, and the tragic journey they had embarked upon. This discovery, however, was just the beginning. Over the next year and a half, the ocean would reveal more of its secrets. 26 more pieces of debris were discovered, scattered across the shores of Tanzania, Mozambique, South Africa, Madagascar, and Mauritius. Each piece, a fragment of a larger story, a silent witness to an unspeakable tragedy. Of these fragments, three were positively identified as coming from Flight 370, while 17 others were thought to have likely originated from the ill-fated plane. Two of these pieces belong to the cabin interior, suggesting a heartbreaking possibility. The plane may have broken up. Yet despite these findings, the question of whether the plane broke up in the air or on impact with the ocean remained unanswered. Studies of the reunion wing flaperon and a piece of the right wing flap found in Tanzania indicated that the plane had not undergone a controlled descent, effectively ruling out the possibility of a guided water landing. These scattered fragments began to form a haunting picture, one of a flight that ended in tragedy, in a place far removed from its intended destination. Yet even as the debris brought answers, they also brought new questions. The full story of MH370, its final moments and the reasons behind its disappearance remained elusive. The search for truth for closure continued. Two pieces of evidence pointed to a chilling conclusion. The discovery of the right-wing flaperon on the French island of Réunion and a piece of the right-wing flap in Tanzania held crucial information. These fragments, once part of the airborne marvel known as MH370, now told a grim tale of the plane's final moments. The study of these fragments suggested an uncontrolled descent, a horrifying scenario for any aircraft. This indicated that the plane hadn't been guided to a water landing. Instead, it seemed to have plummeted to its watery grave, a passenger jet becoming a helpless victim of gravity's unyielding pull. The implications of these findings were dire. 
painting a picture of a plane in distress, unable to maintain its majestic flight. The plane, it seemed, hadn't gently touched down on the ocean's surface. Rather, it had crashed, perhaps even striking the water with a vertical orientation. This theory, supported by a modeling study conducted before the Flaperon's discovery, could potentially explain the scarcity of physical evidence. This form of descent, uncontrolled and likely catastrophic, was a stark contrast to the idea of a controlled water landing. The latter would involve a pilot guiding the aircraft down, minimizing the impact and potential damage. But the evidence pointed elsewhere, to a plane descending rapidly, with no pilot control to ease it down. What could have caused such a rapid, uncontrolled descent? Could it have been a catastrophic mechanical failure, or perhaps a deliberate act? Theories swirled as experts grappled with the question. The absence of shrapnel or signs of external damage suggested that the plane hadn't been shot down, further complicating the puzzle. The discovery of these two pieces of debris was significant, not only for what they revealed about the plane's descent, but also for how they shaped the ongoing investigation. The locations of these fragments helped narrow the search area in the Indian Ocean, guiding investigators in their quest for answers. The mystery deepened, and the search for answers continued. As we delve further into this enigma, we find ourselves with more questions than answers. And yet, the pursuit of truth presses on, driven by the hope of one day unraveling the mysteries of MH370's uncontrolled descent. In January 2017, the official search was abandoned. This decision was a joint one, made by the governments of Malaysia, Australia, and China. After years of extensive and exhaustive search efforts, the grim reality began to settle in that the whereabouts of Flight 370 might remain an enigma. The vast expanse of the Indian Ocean had yielded little more than a handful of debris, and the hope of finding the plane's final resting place was dwindling. Yet, not everyone was ready to call it quits. An American company, Ocean Infinity, known for their expertise in deep-sea exploration, stepped into the picture. They were granted permission by the Malaysian government to continue the search. With renewed vigor and determination, they scoured the Indian Ocean, deploying state-of-the-art technology in the form of autonomous underwater vehicles. They tirelessly searched, undeterred by the vastness of the ocean or the enormity of the task at hand. However, as the months rolled on, the results were disheartening. Despite the cutting-edge technology and the relentless pursuit, the ocean remained tight-lipped, revealing no new secrets. The mystery of Flight 370 seemed to deepen with every passing day. In May 2017, the inevitable was announced. The Malaysian Transport Ministry declared that the search conducted by Ocean Infinity would be terminated. The company had given it their all, but the elusive aircraft remained undetected. The ocean, it seemed, had claimed yet another secret, refusing to let go. The following year, in July 2018, the Malaysian government issued its final report on Flight 370's disappearance. The report was inconclusive, attributing the change in flight path to manual inputs, but providing no definitive answers as to why the plane disappeared. Mechanical malfunction was deemed extremely unlikely, but the investigators could not determine the exact cause of the disappearance. Despite the extensive efforts, many questions remained unanswered. The mystery of Flight 370 continues to baffle us, a reminder of the vastness of our world and the limitations of our understanding. As the search is called off, we are left with more questions than answers. The disappearance of Flight 370 etched in the annals of aviation history as one of its greatest enigmas. The absence of definitive answers gave rise to a plethora of theories. In the weeks following the disappearance of MH370, speculations filled the air as thickly as the smoke from a jet engine. Theories ranged from the plausible to the downright bizarre, each trying to explain the inexplicable. Mechanical failure was an early suspect. After all, even the most reliable machines can falter. However, no evidence of malfunction surfaced in the debris. The absence of distress signals also cast doubt on this theory. Then came the chilling theory of pilot suicide. The loss of ACARs and transponder signals suggested that someone inside the aircraft had switched them off. This led to speculation of a deliberate act by one of the crew members. Yet no suspicious behavior was found in the captain, the first officer, or the cabin crew immediately prior to the flight. The plot thickened in 2016 when New York Magazine reported that the pilot, on his home flight simulator, had flown a path over the southern Indian Ocean, eerily similar to the missing aircraft's final path. This revelation lent credence to the notion of a premeditated pilot-induced mass murder-suicide 
Some even speculated that Flight 370 was shot down, a theory fueled by geopolitics rather than hard evidence. Despite the sensational nature of this theory, no evidence of shrapnel from a missile or other projectiles has been found in the debris. It's worth noting that these theories, like any speculation, are based on interpretation of the available evidence. They are not definitive answers. Rather, they are the product of our collective attempts to make sense of the tragic and perplexing disappearance of MH370. As we conclude, the ultimate fate of MH370 remains one of aviation's most perplexing mysteries, leaving us to wonder, what really happened? The theories we've explored today are but fragments of the story, pieces of a puzzle that we continue to assemble in the quest for truth. So until we meet again, keep looking up and questioning. After all, it's the mysteries that captivate us, pushing us to search, explore, and strive for answers.